time for us to get our last guest of the afternoon on. And it's a welcome return to Paul Scully Sloan, who is the man who put together an organisation called Daddies with Angels. Paul lost his son, TJ, at 14 months. In common with lots of others who have lost children, Paul decided that he wanted to do something specific to help those go through that awful, awful trauma of losing a young one. As a result, Daddies with Angels was set up and it operates in a very particular way. Paul, welcome back to the studio. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, John. You work in a very private, personal kind of a way using social media. Social media, emails, um, trade board forums, basically social media, internet. There's very, very few face-to-face meetups. Why daddies particularly rather than mummies with angels? It isn't. I mean, daddy, it, we set it up because when my son died, a lot of the emphasis was put on my wife, which she's, like I said before, she's entitled to. Everybody's mm. entitled to that. Mm. But there wasn't a lot for dads. So originally the group was set up for dads. So daddies with angels. But we do support other family members as well. Mums, um, grandparents, um, older siblings. We run that don't want to engage with younger siblings. That's, a, that's another speciality in itself. Um, and, and grandparents, um, and sometimes friends will come along as well. Sometimes people think that social media is one of those um, light fripperies of life. There's nothing very serious about social media. It's all lots of people sort of jabbering away into the cyber sp- sp- cyberspace and cyber world. For you and for Daddies with Angels as an organisation, without social media, this wouldn't work. No. I mean, social media is full of trolls and gossip and chit chat whatever but we're very formal we, we have a chat with people before they come in find out a little bit about them when they come in they're formally welcome we have a structure through the week where we ask people to talk about their loss or invite them to talk about their loss about the, the songs that are special to them maybe writing about their child mm. um on friday we have a forever friday where we say this is an opportunity if you share pictures of your babies or your older children as we do do a whole range. We don't just confine ourselves to child in pregnancy in for last. We have people that come with us if children have been murdered or commit suicide or or have died of cancer. Um, and so for some people, if they put it on their own Facebook profiles, they'll get criticism for it. But with us, all there is is compassion and love for the photos that they put on. Now, it's, it's fascinating because you've just talked about the murder of a child, the death of a child, the accidental death of a child. I mentally recoiled every time you said it because I thought murder of children you can't talk about that can you and yet you can and you must if you're going to get the pressures out that's the whole it is it is any sort of child loss young child loss has always been a taboo um people have started to talk about it more thanks to social media I think because there's a lot of good positive things going on in social media um, people are talking about it more. That taboo is being broken. The subjects are being talked about openly, so people can start to heal or get, get things out of their head rather than get to have it stuck in their head and then just buzz around and make them feel ill. The work that started because of your tragic loss has has been recognised because as Daddies with Angels has grown, nominations have started to come through for what you are doing very securely, very supportively, very carefully. You're in the running as a shortlisted uh, finalist for something called the Butterfly Awards. Mm-hmm. What are they? Butterfly Awards was set up, this is the fourth year it was running, it was set up by a lady called um, Mel Scott who runs a charity called Towards Tomorrow forever or something like that and Jane Devril who works for Midwifery Online they wanted to recognise people who have done positive things in the child loss community um, not necessarily the big charities who've got big corporate buildings but the smaller people that actually do the face to face work that have not got bundles of money they're actually doing the real face to face work um, it's a um, number of categories um, blogger I was up for that last year didn't win it um, uh, in special father, one of our support team is up for in special father this year. Um, Dan Hill, he led the towards a change of how feeding tubes are used with premature babies. Um, inspirational mother, um, dedicated baby loss volunteer. One of our members is up for that for all the work she's done supporting families. Mm. Um, keepsake and, and, and win, lose or draw. Do these nominations actually make a difference to how the organisation? 
attracts new people to come and share their experiences? Since we started asking people to vote on our profile, the amount of people that exposed Daddy's Way Angels to, all I'm doing all the, at the moment, the last three days, is talking to people who want to join. So that's good for us. I mean, nobody's going to go up, turn up at the Butterfly Awards expecting to stand up on the podium um, and be winners because that's not what it's about. It's about people getting together. So are you just scratching the surface of what is perhaps a large subset of our community? Do you have a handle on actually just how many parents potentially could be helped by the service? Um, I think the statistics are one in four pregnancies ends in a loss. And then you've got the child, other child diseases, you've got the cancers, you've got the, uh, the congenitive disorders or the DNA dysfunctions, whatever people want to call them. And then you've got, because of our, our age range is, goes up to whatever age, mm. it's still someone's child. Mm. Um, we'll get someone on whose his child has been murdered or, or shaken to death or what. So the, the, the numbers are amazing. I think speaking with Mel the other day, the, the first day the um, voting was open, there was nearly a million hits to the website. The website collapsed. I mean, that's just an example of how many people that it's affecting just on that first day when it was open. That is quite some so, I mean, number. I, I would say you could look down your street and know someone, or there'd be someone down your street who's been affected by child loss in some way. You mentioned child loss can cover any age. Yeah. You've mentioned that the Facebook page or the Facebook group, which is what, which is the main operation for this, um, is all secure. I gather parents have started, not officially, but they've started meeting other, uh, other meeting each other to, to share experiences face to face. That wasn't initially what you planned to do. No, because sometimes it's easier to open up to, when there's not a face on the other side of it. Um, but talking in the groups and people finding out that they live close together, they say, fancy meeting up for a coffee. Mm. Uh, or you fancy meeting up for a beer, and because we're we're not just Northampton, we're we're county wide, we're UK wide, we're world, we're worldwide. We've got members all over the country. We've got, we, I've got starting to get members in from Africa uh, the last couple of months, um, so we can't go out and <laughs> meet them when we want to. But they're actually meeting up and they're talking to each other because child loss could be a lonely place. Your friends often shy away from you, and so these these mums and dads and other member of families are meeting new people who understand what they're going on and they're meeting new friends and they're getting out and they're living their lives again. Breaking the taboo. It's Daddies with Angels based here in Northampton, driven by Paul, who's in the studio with me right now, up for uh, the awards for the Butterfly Awards. You can find out about them by going to thebutterflyawards.com and also available via the Facebook page. You won't uh, be able to just join the Facebook page. There is a process uh, before you can join the Facebook page for obvious reasons. What's the best way to get in touch? Um, the best way to get in touch depends on what you want. If you just want a, a picture making, we will just do that. Contact us on our Facebook community page. Just search Daddy's Evangels. But if you want to join a, one of the groups, search for Daddy's Evangels. A list of our groups will come up. Press ask to join, then I'll contact you and have a little chat. Paul, good luck for the award. Thank you. Good luck with carrying on the work you've been doing. Thank you.